Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do the lab of uh, equal cost multipath in FortiGate firewall. So what is equal cost multipath in FortiGate firewall? Suppose for example, I am having two WAN links. One is going to AT&T ISP and one is going to level 3 telco ISP. Okay, so if I want to do load balancing and because basically what happens in routing, if I am having two routes, okay, and I have given default route on two WAN links. So what will happen? Depending on the oldest path, the route will be given the highest priority and the second path will be not getting utilized. But with the help of ECMP, we can utilize both the links by giving default route. So I will show you how to configure it. So these are two users. One is in VLAN 10 and another is in VLAN 20. And this here I will create a sub interface where I will configure the DHCP server. This is the one WAN link and this, is, this one is the another WAN link. I will go into the FortiGate firewall. So I have done some basic configuration. And let me go over here. I will go in port 1. Now, uh, I will give the port configuration, okay? Port 1. So, the WAN 1. This is WAN. Here, the IP will be 30.1.1 slash 24. I will click on OK. Similarly, I will configure port 4. I will give a bandwidth of, let me check what bandwidth I have given over here. It's here, 5MB. Port 4. Dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four. Okay, this is how I will configure the WAN links. Now I will go into the LAN port. This one here I have to create a sub interface. Say for ten two port. Okay, I will give VLAN ID ten and dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four. CP server. Similarly, I will create another. Okay. Now, what I'll do? I will give the firewall policies. For example, one VLAN 10 WAN port source address all all click on OK. Similarly, for the WAN 2. Not be ten only. Similarly, I will give one three for one one. Now, similarly, I will give on when 
टू वील एंड ट्वेंटी क्लिक ऑन ओके now i will give the static route so here is our main concept i will say interface man 1 so what is the gateway this is the gateway i will show you the configuration so that you guys can you know configure it in the that way this is the configuration of the wan routers This is the gateway. I have configured NATing so that it will con communicate with the global DNS. This is the gateway. Okay. Here you can define other options like advanced option that we will discuss uh, in our next video. This is just a default ECMP. Okay. Admin distance is by default ten. similarly i will give another static route now i will show you the configuration of this router this is the level 3 telco lan band device so this is the gateway okay you can just refer this Uh, pause the video and refer this configuration. If you have any doubt, you can just ping me down. I will reply your queries. Where it is also zero over here. Now I will go into the forty gate. I will just boot these devices up. Now let me go into forty gate. Admin. Username is by I have kept it one two three. Get router info routing table all. Now if you guys see, see, I have given a default route, but it is having two gateways. So load balancing will happen over here. Let's check if load balancing is happening or not based upon the source. Let me check this one. IP DHCP. Now let me check the gateway reachability. It's working. Similarly, I will check the. It's working. Now let me check which part it is taking. Okay, I will go into forty gate, gate system, session list. See, our IP was ten dot one dot one dot two. Okay, it is using the source net forty dot one dot one, which means it is going on this path, from this path, and not from this path. Let me check if there there was a packet loss. Let me check how it is going now. Now let me check for this another user. Okay. Let me check which traffic this path is using. This. Which path this traffic is using? Okay. You guys can see, ten dot one dot one dot two is using the forty dot one dot one, but twenty dot one dot one dot two is using thirty dot one dot one, which means this one. So by using this method, you can do load balancing. See, we are having all the firewall policies placed over here. VLAN ten to WAN one, VLAN 
10 to win 2 okay port 4 we land 20 to win 1 and we land sorry okay got it yeah uh, to port win 1 and we land 22 when to win 2 okay but depending on the source it is getting it is trans uh, doing the uh, load balancing Check if, if there is any command for excluding the IP address. So, user from 20.1.1.2 is using the path from ATNT ISP. Okay. The user from 10.1.1.2 is using the path from the Level 3 telco ISP. So, in this way, we can do load balancing. Okay, few users are going from this path, like VLAN 10 is going from this path, and VLAN 20 is going from this path. So, depending on the source, load balancing happening. So, this is how you can, you know, configure ECMP. Now, what if I do something, some manipulation over here? Let's do something. So, let's me stop the traffic. We will cover the same like the next topic in this video only okay because it will be helpful for you guys now we'll go in static routes okay what i will do uh, i will increase the priority over here okay say for example i will give a priority of 15. okay now let's check the routing table Okay, you guys can see now the path via 50 from the AT&T ISP. It's having 30, sorry, 30 is having a AD value of 50. So, due to the higher AD value, it will consider the path via 40.1.1.2. So, each and every traffic, whether it is from VLAN 10 or it is VLAN 20, it will not go from the AT&T ISP because of the higher AD value, it will go from the level 3 telco ISP. So, let's give it a test. Let me give a global DNS ping from VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 users. Now, users from VLAN 10, okay, they are going from 40.1.1 and users from VLAN 20 are also going from 40.1.1 okay earlier you can see 20.1.1.2 was going from 30.1.1 and 10.1.1.2 is going from 20.1.1.1 40.1.1 now both the users are using this path so this is how you can do the manipulation it's like a floating static value in our traditional routing okay but if you want to do load balancing then you can just keep the uh, AD value as default 10 10 and it will do I think it will it uses round robin fashion for uh, load balancing algorithm okay so that's all regarding this video guys I hope you guys would have liked this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you